lots of people have been asking to have a room tour of my room in Rome so I thought I would film the video today and give it to you. We start here with these lovely really big old Italian doors. This is the first thing you see when you walk in. I have these hooks up here which, are, which were there already so I've just got my coat, my towel, my belt and then a few tote bags and things. And then over here I have my shoes. I really like the flooring because it's marble. Um, but it does mean that it gets really cold in the winter. Here I just have my cancan, which usually also would just go up there, um, but I'm putting things into it right now. And then this is the general view of my room. So here's my bed area. When I first moved into the room, the these two wardrobes were right here against this wall, but and my bed was over there, but I didn't like it. So I moved it so that I would have two walls where my bed was. Um, and I, I just much prefer it like this. So here I've got my bed with my bedding that you might recognize. And it's a really nice double bed. It's really comfortable. There's a really nice memory foam mattress. So I really, really like it. And then up here I have started decorating it a little bit. Um, I obviously don't have enough Polaroids for the rest of them. I haven't yet printed them. I've just got some Polaroids to decorate and make it seem more homely. And then over here, I've got my bedside table. I just have my glasses case, a candle, my water bottle, my water jug, which is probably the best purchase I've made in Rome so far because I can't drink the water from the tap directly because it's too, there's too much calcium in it. So I'm so glad I got a water filter. Uh, lots of other people, they just buy a lot of plastic water bottles, which I really don't agree with because you're wasting a lot of plastic. And this can just be reused and it's just so simple i don't have to worry about running out of water because i can go straight to the tap so i really love it the best purchase i have made and then i just have a box of tissues some little mementos that i'm saving to scrapbook later uh, and then just a book i'm reading rome guidebook my journal and my pencil case so that's there i also have a water bottle there in case i want to take out a bigger water bottle on days out so i have saved that and not taken it to recycling yet now in this section it's a little bit <laughs> messy but that's just because this is the reality i didn't want to clean it and make it seem unrealistic this is literally how it is every single day so on the first level i just have all of my beauty products and my skincare products so i've just got here this is what i usually take in my luggage so it's just got very very basic minimal makeup contact lenses makeup remover a hairbrush um, just other random bits and bobs. Here are just brushes and my eyeshadow palette and my blush palette. I, I rarely use them, but they're just out there anyway. Here I've got cotton pads. And then in this, this one is my medical kit. So inside I have plasters, paracetamol, things like that. This is the face wash that I use, the cleanser. Then I have my two oils here that I use on a day-to-day -day basis my perfume, again, my cellar water. I don't even wear makeup and I don't really use it that much, but sometimes it's nice to just give my face a bit of a, a clean when I'm not cleansing it. This is um, after sun cream that my friend who visited me, Joe, left me because he couldn't take it back with him. It's actually a really nice moisturizer. And I have realized that this is what has been making my skin shiny in my previous vlogs. So it's this one, it's glittery. Then I've just got my floss, my retainers, my toothbrush, my toothpaste. Uh, I've got hand sanitizer here. I've also got um, my exfoliator from home and then just normal sun cream. Not that I need sun cream anymore because it is the winter, but I brought it with me since it was very sunny when I first arrived. On this level here, I just <laughs> have my keys, which are very easy to access when I'm leaving. I have the books that I brought with me, which I've not yet even looked at all of them yet but i i hope to and that was the aim so i've got these books to help me um these two products i was sent by hello body this one smells absolutely amazing it's a makeup remover balm but since i don't really wear makeup that much i haven't used it that much um but i i do really like the smell and i do like the feel of it on my skin it's quite oily but it's it's really nice this moisturizer i actually use on a day-to-day -day basis after i've washed my face and it makes my face feel very very soft and hydrated so i really really like that one there i've got a random pound and a hairband i've got a bunch of revision cards that i've not really used but this has still got plastic in it this one i've not even used yet these are just the boxes of the oils this is hairspray i don't use it my boyfriend left it here because he couldn't take it back with him 
Here I've just got some writing notelets I, I, to write to family and friends. Here I've got the Rome Archaeology Guide, which is really useful for me, especially as I'm studying archaeology. Here I've got this um, folder, which you might have seen in my previous vlogs, which I've just brought with me. And then again, a folder here with uh, paper and another small mini folder in case I need it But I haven't actually used this folder yet because I've been using my iPad mainly and not paper But I brought it with me just in case on this level. I've just got random things So I've got this pistachio spread, which is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to take some back home to England I've actually already finished it and I just thought I'd keep I don't know I don't even know why I still got that here But I'll either recycle it or I'll wash it out and then buy some plants or something here I've just got um, a random food box that I haven't used yet and then here i've got my highlighters that i brought with me and then box of, and then some tissues some more tissues i've got the folder that i brought with me for translation with notebooks in it and lots of paper underneath i have my italian textbook that i have made use of but probably not enough and then here i've also got my book stand which has been also really useful for when i've been reading books at home or when i've been using this italian textbook and then on this one, I have got my shower gel, my shampoo, my conditioner, two conditioners, mini tripod for my camera. I've got my favorite tea, which is really sad. I've only got two sachet, two tea bags left. So I might have to ask my mom who's visiting me soon to bring me some. Here, I've just got the, um, the plastic wallet for the <laughs> for the book stand. And then I've just got random pamphlets that I picked up in the freshest week of Sapienza. Here I've just got two packets of cereal bars which are quick and easy to grab and go and I usually always have one in my backpack with me. I've also got some, I bought some tape but it came in a pack of five so I've got a lot of tape um, but I've only used one of them so hopefully that doesn't go to waste and I can take it back with me. This is just a camera case that I am actually taking back because it doesn't fit the camera properly. And then down here, this is just the top of a mug that I've got because it's for tea but I didn't know where else to put it. And this was the old Wi-Fi we had in the house that was actually really bad and has stopped working. So as you can see, I, it's not even plugged in, um, but it's just left here. These have got random plastic bags, mini plastic bags here to put food in, um, in boxes. I put it, uh, I put it in a food box and then I put it in a plastic bag and then I put it in my bag because I don't want it, my bag to get dirty or have any food leak. Here's just got random bits and bobs that I've got, like booklets and things I picked up, packages and then just a lot of tissues. I bought more yesterday, just in case. Over here, I've just got a lot of toilet paper. We don't really keep them in the toilet, which is another story that you might hear about. But yeah, I've got my own toilet paper here. Here are just some boxes that I need to recycle slash um, deal with and some cardboard recycling. And then we come to my desk area, which I really like. It's really cute. I also have my bin just there. Uh, so my room is actually, my room is actually quite big got a lot of floor space so we come to my desk have a nice chair here it's just a plain simple desk actually I find it quite it's a bit too small for me I'm very used to the Oxford desks but I, I like it it gets the job done I have my three candles here which are really really nice smelling I have my coffee plant here which is brightens up my day it's nice to have a few plants I did have um, a mini orchid but it started dying I've been told though that I can revive it so it's currently on the windowsill over there trying to be revived here as you can see I've got my uh, external hard drive. I've got another SD card. I, I still need to buy one of those cases to look after SD cards because they are always loose and it's it's not good. Here I've got the top of my um, Joby tripod which I should probably put back or I'll lose it. Um, and then my iPad and notebook. Uh, usually my laptop is obviously here but it's in my bag at the moment. My portable charger. I've got a cup of tea that I still need to drink. My phone is currently charging. I've got some post-it notes. And then here I've got my pencil case, which just has pens and highlighter and pencil and stuff, which is easy for me to use when I'm at my desk. And then here I brought I brought um I brought an extension cord with UK plugs because I I, I never never thought about this before, but it's such a good travel hack, especially if you're staying somewhere for a prolonged period of time, because you just have to bring one adapter down there, attach your extension cable, and then you can use all of your normal plugs as usual, so it's been a real lifesaver. The one thing that I didn't bring with me though is I have a four port USB plug that I, I just, I couldn't find at home, or I think my boyfriend has it, so I couldn't bring that, so it's annoying, I can only charge 
two things at a time because I have this USB plug and then I also have um, one plugged in there around the side which actually is an Italian USB plug so that's a bit annoying uh, so at the moment as you can see my, my phone is currently charging but this little thing here usually needs to be charged because this is my portable Wi-Fi. It has saved me so many times because the Wi-Fi here, as I just said, was really, really, really bad, really poor. But this little guy is so strong. He, is it even on yet? He is so easy to use. He has the battery life, which is about maybe six hours or so. But if I leave it plugged in at home, it's absolutely fine. And then it has the signal connection, which is either yellow or green. Um, and I've had no issues at home. I'm see it's just turned green. I've no issues. It has saved me so much uh, It's what I use at home for my Wi-Fi. It is from Rent and Connect. Yes, it's from Rent and Connect and it's it's such an easy company if you're going abroad for a long period of time and you need unlimited Wi-Fi it gives you unlimited Wi-Fi every single day you just have to order it online it gets delivered to you you use it for the amount of days you've rented it for and then you send it back it's really simple it can be expensive but if you really do need Wi-Fi reliable Wi-Fi then I would definitely recommend it and I've got a discount code for you that I'll leave on the screen right now if you are interested but this little guy has been coming with me almost everywhere even when there's good Wi-Fi at university sometimes the Wi-Fi just cuts out and but luckily I take this with me I have it with me so I can always be connected to the Wi-Fi wherever I go. Here is a lamp that has um, has an Italian plug so it's actually never been plugged in so I never actually use it and actually when it has been turned on it's not been a nice light so I just don't use it. Here I just handily hang my headphones onto it so they're easily accessible when I'm at my desk. And then here we come to the window, which doesn't have any curtains. It has a curtain rail, but it has no curtains. The room came with no curtains. And I was going to buy some, some small blinds, but then I realized that every Italian room has these blinds from the outside. So you pull the blind down. So it does close, it does give you privacy using it here. Um, so I was gonna buy curtains or net curtains just to get a bit more privacy. But at the end of the day, I just thought, I I lived here for a month without them and I thought it's there's no there's no point and curtains were about 15 or 20 euros and it's the same as in England when you have curtains because when you open the curtains it it looks like this unless unless you have netting and then when you when it's night and you want to close the curtains I just I just close the blind so the blind goes down and I get my privacy so I'm only here for another month now there's no point I don't see any point in me buying any curtains but apparently the landlords didn't think that it was a necessity as I said before, on here is my orchid trying to be revived. It looks quite dead at the moment. And then I'm trying to grow some sunflower seeds, but nothing's happening at the moment. <laughs> and then I have two massive big wardrobes, which are really, really, really lovely. So in the first one, I just have my bags that I brought with me. I've got my washing detergent, some Lemsip, my passport, a cap, and then just that's my laundry bag suitcase and then my other bag is down there and then in this one it just has all of my clothes so tops dresses and then I've got three drawers there and then I've just got my contact lenses there and a handbag but yeah that's pretty much it plenty of space so I hope you've enjoyed this room tour of my room in Rome and I hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching bye